Y'all, I am on a kick going through products and, and when I find stuff that I really, really love, I'm gonna share it with you. I think this is the coolest piece to date. Now, I said years ago that the next big thing is gonna be a shed antler hanger. For sure, the trend with shed antlers is bigger than it's ever been in history. Now, since the day they started falling off, we've been picking them up, but it's gotten really, really, really popular. You can thank the Tines Up Boys for getting us there, right? The first real look into social media was the Tines Up Boys, and then it's kind of just evolved into everybody doing it, and I love all of it. I mean that in a positive way. Thank you for sharing. It's fantastic. Today, we're gonna to look at three products from a company called Rack Hub. There is an RH1, an RH2, and then the Rack Hub Bar. Essentially, hanging one antler, hanging a set of antlers, or using it like a post style, hanging off of whatever. The idea is brilliant. All you're doing is using the provided drill bit, drilling in one inch, you're knocking in an insert, no epoxy. It's got like a little spline on it, 12 little splines that hold it in place, and then you slide it over a bar. I'm gonna show you how to do one, and then we're just gonna get real creative with it and see if we can't uh, just respect these sheds the way they should be. Um, I'm excited, let's jump right into it. Opening the box of the RH2, you could see there was a lot of attention focused on the design. Sharp packaging for a very modern design bracket. The ball joint style is very unique where you can move and adjust the antler in any position. It's what makes this bracket so versatile. All the hardware you need comes right inside the box. In this little Ziploc comes the instructions, you have the drill bit, a couple of inserts, the mounting screws, and an Allen wrench to torque and tighten everything down once you've got it set. Now real quick here, I'm gonna give you a visual representation of what I just showed you in the beginning. Mark your drill bit at one inch. Then drill into the base of your antler with your drill bit aligned with the beam. You can see here, if you just line up that base and you start screwing like you're gonna run right down the center of the beam, that's the spot. Just run that drill bit right till it hits the edge of that tape and you're done. From here, you're gonna square up your insert right in the middle of that hole and then just tamp it in place. It helps to have a soft faced hammer here. Yes, you can use a steel hammer, but because this is an aluminum insert, you don't wanna crush it. Just get her square and tap it on in there. With the insert knocked into the antler, I like to just fit it real quick. You just slide that insert over the post and it locks itself in place really, really clean. Next, mount your bracket to the wall. Here I'm just using an outside covered shed just to give it a kind of a cool look. With everything secure, just slide the antler right over the post and adjust it however you want. Now I know I've already said it, but the versatility of this bracket is in all the adjustment. Once you got it where you want it, take that Allen wrench and torque it on the bottom, stand back and enjoy it. This thing is so cool and I'm so excited about it. Uh, I love to be talking about this bracket. So the RH2, it'll accommodate two antlers. RH1, one antler, and the bar is designed to drill into something and make it as a, a different style. Instead of having the mounting bracket, you just have a post that you can drill into whatever. So this style would normally accommodate like a match set of shads. It's a big old white tail set right there that would go on there but I have a fantastic mule deer that I have two left sides off of. I've always wanted to put them on a wall, so I thought let's just try it, see if I can do it here. Check this out, wicked cool. So an 85 and an 87 inch shed on one bracket, three years apart, same deer, same left side, just, just wicked cool. Uh, it's very versatile, it's beautiful. I could real easily bury this in mud and crown mount them together. The adjustment is really the idea and the glueless insert. Those little splines grab so good. There's a lot of torque. I can tell you for sure there is a bracket coming for an elk shed. Yes, it's exciting. 
get you a rack hub system and get them sheds up off the ground, put them on the wall where they belong, and thank you for watching.